into tier 33, Garvis Ice Gate Blue Team. It's Carlin with a Apothecary support hero that fights in melee combat by the fort begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Alongside literally retarded is a brother captain, a very durable hero that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful support and disruption fights in melee combat. And rounding off the team, Lauer with a war boss, a melee hero that can walk through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. Red team, we got some Imperial Guard first up, Stiga 7 with an Inquisitor. Offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee combat that can get specialized ranged weapons. Stanley Love here with a Lord Commissar. Strong offense and support fights in melee combat. Begins with a refractor shield. Can also shoot feathers in the head. We have the Catachins elite scheme. What about Steger? Just some guardsmen. And rather of the team is your friendly neighbor with a Ravenna Alpha. A tunneling hero with great mobility, strong offense and a bit of support. Begins with a ranged weapon but can get specialized melee gear. Apothecary got very close. Looks like it's going to be okay though. East side kicking off Orcs versus Guard. Warboss taking a lot of damage already. Oh, he might go down. Gets a stomp, but it doesn't save him. Sluggers there looking for a fight in the background. Brother Captain pushing against Triple Guardsman of Stanley Love. Strike Squad took a lot of damage there. A lot of damage. And it's just double Hormigaunts for your friendly neighbor. Did they lose one? I don't think so. I don't see any bodies. Straight into Warrior Brood, maybe. Would love to see someone try double Hormigaunts, double Warriors in Tier 1. That'd be fun. Like one melee, one Barb Strangler. Used to see double Warriors quite a lot back in retail. Double Barb Stranglers used to see sometimes. Remember Dirk Craddix running that sometimes. We have Power Sword on the way. In fact, in the hands of the Lord Commissar. And it's double Strat Squad for literally retarded. Going for Nemesis Focus on these guys. Turns them into a dedicated melee squad with a melee charge and special attacks and all that good stuff. And shooty shooty on the gens. Do we have the ground pound? We do have the ground pound. Maybe that's what messed up the war boss so much to begin with. Hormigaunts capping. Could not deal with double Hormigaunts, Carlin, alongside the Ravenna Alpha. Who runs off? Why are these guys running? Didn't even drop a model. Maybe they got caught. A grenade or something? No, they have shotguns, no grenade. No purification vials, so that's a good choice over here now. Relatively narrow lane with a bunch of melee. Yeah, get get some vials going. Devastators though for Carlin. And it's double Nemesis Focus for Literally Retarded. We did see at the start of the game, they said that they won't abuse. They were referring to the Cybolt ammunition for those guys being a little bit strong right now. So they've gone for melee strike squad. Stormtroopers alongside them. Buffed up guardsmen here. But the strat squad are in. And Stanley Love has made no attempt to counter these guys yet. In terms of a heavy weapon squad or some actual catechins maybe. Yeah, Lord Commissar has been knocked all over the place. And that's a really awkward place to retreat from. Needs to go around. Did get a special though which helped. Sluggers couldn't quite get in there. Got a lot of Dakar though. Plenty of DAC and I think the blue team are going to retake the eastern side. Your friendly neighbor with a Ravenna Brood gets in on the Devastators in melee. Picking off here. Hormigaunts might wipe on the way out. Down to a single model, 10 hit points and they do not stop shooting them. Mistake I think from Kalin. Not sure if they would have done it with a Flamer but... With those two Bolters firing maybe. Pother Carry going for the Sanguine Chainsword. So he can hang in melee, be a little bit, do a little bit of brawling in his spare time. Not the best brawler ever, but it does allow him to persist in combat a bit more. We do have a crossbow bolt pistol for the Inquisitor. And we see Carapace up for the Lord Commissar. Power bashing from the Orcs. They love to dack at anything, especially if it explodes. They don't need to ask them twice. Brother Captain with the Blessed Aegis up. Can be supported by the Strat Squad, giving him... Purification, which gives them energy back. Maybe something that'll be looked at in the future update it is very strong when you have two strat squad feeding him energy. Being shot up here though, pretty well. Especially with the execution on these guardsmen. They do double damage when executed. He did not cap the east side though, the blue team. Really? 
had plenty of time to cap it, I think. I guess they got a power bash, did they? Yeah. Oh, I don't think it was fully bashed. Two generators just got rebuilt there. Oh, the carry went down. Is that the Sanguine Chainsaw in his hand? Did it get up? Oh, I can't see it. There's a Tyranid lying on top of it. Here are the Ravenous. There's a Borrow Strike. These guys are in trouble. Oh, right into the path of Devastators, though, and they can't Borrow Strike again. You see the Vengeance rounds. Used them a bait there, Carlin. Cormagons do have adren Adrenal Glands. They both have it. They do. What about you? It's the Borrow Trap for the Ravenous Alpha. It's not a piece of war gear you see very often. Problem with mines are. In the team game, there's always going to be a, a detector unit somewhere. And yeah, you, you can use mines and stuff to kind of force your enemy, force your opponent to build a certain thing, and then you can work around that. But when it's a team game, it's a little bit harder. A little bit more difficult. Still, they are on the solo lane, so maybe the borrowed trap will do some work. It knock, knocks back damages and stuns, I believe. 423 to 462. Red team. Have the eastern side. What is this? Operatives up. Forward back plan is on the way. Allows them to break their retreat and also drop stun grenades and stuff. Jumping in are some storm boys. These guys have power melee weapons. Not the most elegant of unit, but they get in there and they have some fighting. Might have to fight a Lord Commerce, so he's got stubbornness up. Did those guys get executed? No, this is some kind of other buff going on. Storm boys giving chase. War boss is there. Does have the boss bolt. You see that buff there from the boss bolt. Plasma guns up in tier 2 for Stanley Love. All three. No, only one squad has plasma guns at the moment. Taking a lot of damage though from Stormtrooper grenade launchers. Wipes out one of the squads. Stanley Love went tier 2. With just triple guards with no upgrades, aside from the sergeant, I guess. Did upgrade the Lord Commissar, though. Here come more guardsmen. It's more where those fellas came from. There's basically just a factory line of guardsmen for you to reinforce and build. War boss needs to be careful. Didn't manage to level up. Did the brother captain level? No. Apothecary got level 2. And there's a sanguine chainsaw that's healing up between bases there. More Raveners on the way for your friendly neighbour. We did not see vials, right? No, no purification vials for that guy. East side being pushed by the blue team. War boss is very low. Why are you still in here, buddy? A couple of stray last cannon shots to your eyeballs and you're dead. Stormtroopers now for Stanley Love. I believe they cancelled the guards when it was. They weren't just lost, I don't think. Repairs for the Sentinel. This is Steger's Sentinel. Who has some stormtroopers as well and a chimera. Stormtroopers are back at base. What is this? Something gets some decapping. It strikes well. It's a good play. Lots of pressure on the east side. Opens up the mid for the decap. Big old push from the blue team. Look at this. Swept across the map. Red team only have the very natural points now. And don't even have their natural VP. Devastator is messing up these swarmagons. Uh oh, more tactical marines being dropped in. There we go. Could get some stern guard up for some hellfire rounds. Ravenet Alpha still with the burrow trap. I think he could do some work here with a melee weapon. Double Raveners. Oh, we see enhanced muscle coil and a zone throat on the way in tier two. These guys are not capping. Red team pushing back again. Pretty fast. Not sure what happened there to break the assault. Maybe they just overextended a bit. Ran out of health. He can't do it forever. Strat squad messing up some guards when they might die, in fact. They actually need to stop and plant their feet and shoot them, which would give them more accuracy. But they get it done. They do get it done. Commissar falling over his own mines. They are being spotted by the scout sergeant. But if he just fall over onto them, they will still explode. Formagon to trying to eat the drop pod. Strike squad are here. Just ate a grenade, I think, from those stormtroopers, maybe. I think that's what I saw. Zone throat there with his shield up. Strike squad with a big old retreat. It did some work, though. Did a cap. Got a cap and killed some guardsmen. 
All in a day's work. More guardsmen on the way for Stanley Love. Those guys couldn't quite set up in time to stop the war bus and I was pissed. That was that was like a melter bomb going in there. What the hell was that? Oh, that's a burner bomb from the operatives, I think. Or whatever they call it. Incendiary grenade, I think. Cool looking thing. Grey Knight Dreadnought on the way for literally retarded. And Carlin, the Space Marine Dreadnought. I love me some Dreadnoughts. I really do. Oh, there's a burrow trap. Look at it. What is burrowed there, though? It isn't... What? Like a spore mine or something. What have you buried in there, fella? Pod the carry level 2 now. We've got some tactical marines with sergeant. No stone guard, though, yet. And, of course... Oh, there's the burrow trap going off. Look at that. Damage, not back, stun. Oh, really? Oh, I was going to say, is he able to heal himself when he's stunned? They might have just been bolt pistol shots. I didn't think they could still shoot their bolt pistol when stunned. You shouldn't be able to do anything, surely. You're stunned. Or should mess up your accuracy or something. Double Chimera from Steger, that could be a mistake. But it's a mistake, but it could literally be not what they mean to do. Are you going to run into the mines? No. The scouts are now spotting them. They can try and shoot them up. I don't think you get XP or anything. Second Chimera is still in the way. Stanley Love going tier 3. Got Stormtroopers instead of the Guardsmen again. Storm boys. Some of them got stomped. But that was a heavy melee headbutt there. And a sail coming in. To stop them from the excruciators. Chimera is sitting pretty. No real threat to it. Second Chimera is still in the way. We do have... Stone Guard veterans now for Carlin. First company tactical marines that can change their ammo to combat all threats. They want to be using Hellfire against all of this light infantry. We'll also do some good damage over time to the Raven Alpha. Gone for the Corrosive Devourer, but they have to deal with a Dreadnought now. Not going to be easy. Corrosive Devourer does have Corrosive Shots, which deal anti-vehicle damage. And the Zone Throat has the Focus Warp Blast. But uh, might not be enough to take a Dreadnought down. There's a big chunk of vehicle armor, I think. We do have double Chimeras. Maybe it was intended. Maybe one is going to be used for a beacon. The other one to drive around and have some fun, maybe. Grenade Dreadnought with the Maelstrom. I don't think you can get this when it's in its melee loadout, I don't think. But it's got its Plasma Cannon and Twin Links Heavy Bolter loadout. So Maelstrom is okay. Drat Squad haven't leveled up yet, really? That seems mental. These guys have. They're making fun of the other Strat Squad now. Slugger's level 2 as well. Also making fun. Storm Boys though, level 1. Have Weapon Squad get their little shield. It's a really good upgrade for those guys. Weapon Squads that can't be knocked back. Pretty big deal. These guys are looking to melt a bomb something. But it's not going to be back there. Because that's the same faction injury, you dumbass. Why are they sneaking back there? Confusing me. There isn't even Imperial Guard on the other side, dumbass. Level 3 Apothecary. Dreadnought. Hasn't taken a scratch yet. Oh, a little scratch. 8 hit points it's lost. That's some friendly fire, Mr. Dreadnought. What are you up to? Just wiped out their own stone guard veterans there and down goes the apothecary big misplay from Carlin goes tier 3 being flanked a bit but these guys yeah they're assault kit stormtroopers they can't really threaten the dreadnought very much well that was unfortunate the stone guard are now bits of stone guard one fella's hole there scouts having to take back the natural VP but they're being shot up by stormtroopers momentarily east side they're looting pushing through bashing power it's a bit lopsided I don't think you need two players here to do that come mid and help Carlin is fighting like three players at the moment current guard chasing down the dreadnought trying to tie it up in melee there's those stern guards still haven't leveled what about the brother captain he's got the nemesis force halberd it's a splash damage power melee weapon nasty stuff Demon Russ for Stanley Love. And a heavy weapon squad now. Tier 3 for Steger. What do they do with this camera? They're just driving them around having some fun. And why not? 
Can we see the plasma cannon shoot, please? Oh, psychic burst on the zone throat messed it up. Slow down and burn some energy away. Not sure how close you want to get to this, guys. Yeah, they couldn't see what we could see. Boom! Plasma cannon killed two guards, I think. Uh oh. Here comes some anti vehicle, though, Mr. Dreadnought. Chimera, they don't, they don't know where to drive. Auto cannon getting shots. Lehman Rush should be shooting at the Dreadnought. They take down the brother captain. Yes, they do. And Dreadnought just stopped trying to escape. They're gonna take its death. Stormtroopers also there. Big push by the red team. Space Marine Dreadnought lives. 320 to 306. Have to be so careful with the dreadnoughts in the 3v3. If you're not a sorcerer, that is. Muted tank for Lauer. Literally is uh, down to just two units now. Got some loyalist terminators from Kalin. And they are going tier 3, literally, so we could see some paladins and all that good stuff. Perhaps some interceptors to try and hunt these vehicles, actually. Current guards found a war boss. Warboss has found a claw and a tank, but goes down. Did they actually get a decap? I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Blue team are reeling though. Literally and the Orc player are both very depleted. Down to their tier 1 units. Flash gets on the way for Lauer. Does have a nuke available as well. And with a big clump of vehicles like this, that, that could do some work. Need to push alongside it though, I think. Dreadnought getting repairs, level 2. Saclo missile launcher could do some work again to a big clump of vehicles. Oh, looted tank went down as you see. Not sure what got it. Oh, last cannons here. That's what got it. And it is interceptors from literally. They're just trying to put some pressure on the eastern side. They don't have a lot. But they can at least stop the red team getting through to the power so easily. So things like that. Sometimes you just got to take unfavorable fights while you try to recover kind of thing. So the enemy doesn't completely take the map. But the captain taking so much damage from the stormtroopers. Wow. There's also a tank shooting at him. And that was a sail on those strike squad. I doesn't want to lose this guy though. Yeah. Overextended a little bit there. On that little harassment play. Here are the interceptors. They've got side cannons that can damage all targets. And a handy little teleporter. Level 3 Ravenna Alpha with the regenerate. Do we see any more burrow traps? I don't know. I don't see any. They're kind of hard to spot. 282 to 275. Very close on VPs. And Red Team haven't really pushed as much as I thought. I thought they'd be on this VP. Like decapping it. Seems to enjoy killing stuff more than capping right now your friendly neighbor you know he's friendly he wants to meet meet and greet zone throat with a big miss what was that what are you shooting at it's a back away east side lots of shooting going on orcs now trying to hold up the red team some suppression for the lord commissar and a rocket run oh that's devastating for the orcs i think that was steger yeah. Very good nuke. Literally is a. Uh, yeah, it looks bad. It's pretty bad. You know, sometimes in a 3v3, you just get nuked. Mobile base says Stiga. Where is it? There it is. It's an upgrade for the Chimera. Get some fun little sandbags. I think it becomes a heavy cover object as well. 241. To 275 on the VPs. Tier 3 for your friendly neighbor and Steger with a Lehman Russ on the way. Can the blue team claw this back? It's going to be tough, really tough. Literally does have a lot of resources, don't quite have the power to get something tasty. I mean, in this situation, a lot of viewers will say, well, hey, why don't they just get more strike squad up? Because getting level 1 basic strike squad up at this point is not going to do a whole lot in combat and they're just going to take your upkeep you get less requisition in and if you want to actually start making them useful and and upgrading them you're spending stuff that you're saving up 
So it's kind of tough. That's why I always recommend getting setup teams if you need something to buy because they can instantly become useful with their heavy weapons. Even at level 1, no upgrades. Suppression is always useful. Bane Blade on the way for Stanley Love. Lima Russ hits the field. A very late zone throw for... Nope. Yep, there it is. For your friendly neighbour. No Nero throw pay. Some tank busters. They really do need to shoot down some vehicles, that's for sure. This is Steger's Lehman Russ. What did Stanley Love get? No upgrade yet. Tank buster barrage. And tons and tons of DAC up. Cyclone missile launcher now going in. Killed a bunch of stuff. Took out the heavy weapon squad. But that didn't actually hit the vehicle there. Look at this dreadnought I put here. Poor bastard. I call him Malcolm. Just frozen solid there, Malcolm. He's still alive in there. Nobody can hear him. Nobody can hear him. Doesn't have a mouth. The space ring that's inside. It's like a bag of organs, probably. Frozen organs, though. Chimera, level 2. Took a big old tank buster barrage there, but survives. Paladin's on the field now. For literally retarded. Here they are. Nemesis Demon Hammers. Heavy melee weapons. But hey. Remember these guys having an Inquisitor? They are amazing at countering Terminator variants. Can't do it alone. There's Crippling Volley now. And runs away. A lot of it's because Terminators can't retreat out of all the crap they do. Executioner Lehman Russ. Good damage to this heavy infantry. That strike squad might need to run away. Is that too late? Might be too late. Looks like they've got away. Four hit points and they do get away. Giving it a good old go here is the Grey Knight player. Or the Malleus, I should say. Just asking for a nuke. Lauer does have one. There it is. Can they finish off the Lehman Rust? I think they can. It does. Just about go down. That was pretty close. Almost got away. Uh oh. Zone Thropes getting shotguns. This one has symbiosis. But there's no big tyrannies to heal. Yet. Survives. Almost whacked those scouts out. Still on this east side, the blue team. We've got some flash kits with Daka. Using their snaz guns. Warboss gets a stomp and maybe gets away. Lads Cannon's not going to hurt him. I think he does get away. Tank Buster's getting some decent shots. Double Tank Buster's will mess up. A tier 2 vehicle really fast. And they get on the VP here. Is this triple tank busters? It is. I mean, if Orcs know how to do something, it, it, it's blow things up. Pretty good at it. Where's the Bane Blade? Sitting on the natural VP. Does not want to get close to triple tank busters. And can they get a knob squad now? To go alongside this. Paladins are still around. They have the Lab of Demonica giving them holy ground. Speeds up allies, slows down enemies. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Might want to cap that wreck point though, fellas. Fist of Brockus up for the Lord Commissar. And the Emperor's Wrath on the way. Really fun ability. Super expensive though, as you can see there. 97, 275. A well-timed grenade. Strat squad. Striding on through. But can they get the VP? There's Crippling Poison. Setting up a Emperor's Wrath. Good synergy between the two Imperial Guard players. But it seems like Retarded is like alone. Nope, War Boss is here. The War Boss is here and here come some more Orcs. They found, they got all their rockets back. Four Tank Busters. 16 rocket launchers coming for you. What are you going to do, Chimera? I don't know if you can live through this. You don't want to go forward. That's definitely not, not what you want to do. The war boss is there as well. There's the holy ground. Yeah, down goes the Chimera. I'm not sure if the Bane Blade is going to live through that. None shall fall. You need to try and pick out the Lord Commissar now and kill him. Or nothing's going to die. They found him. 
They're smacking him, and down, there he goes. Uh oh, rocket run again for the orcs. Poor Lauer. Looks like they escaped it a little bit better. Tarano formation as well. Okay, they're all right ish. Lost one of the tank busters. But look at this. Blue team are going to get on the VP here. And red team can't seem to get on this. Did they decap it? I didn't see them decap it. Corus Devourer, level 3 Ravana doing some work. Orbital Bombardment, that's a strange place to put it. Not sure exactly what that was aiming for. It's got some Tyranids though, got both of the zone probes, they should be retreating here. How did this one survive on that one? It was a little bit odd. Paladins do not appreciate your melter guns, fellas. Another Lehman Russ on the way. Do you really want to get a Lehman Russ when there's Paladins? An angry war boss with a claw and three tank busters. This dreadnought is still around. It's been awesome. Level three with Dark Age of Technology. Kalin, you might want to cap up this a little bit with your scouts or something. Probably want some for repairs though. They have a LAS cannon as well. 61, 257. Paladin's going off with the Bane Blade. Got a Bob Trend Lacan effect trying to shoot him down. That's an Emperor's Wrath, I think. Wow, big damage. Big chunk of damage to the Paladins there. They're on it though. They are on it. Putting in some work. Are they going to get away though? I don't think they are. Overextension from literally interceptors are here. Oh wait, what happened to the other interceptors by the way? Completely forgot about this guys. They were just trying to finish off the Bane Blade even if it lost them but they couldn't quite do it. Yeah. I... I'm not sure if the Justicar for these guys also gets a side cannon. I think he does, maybe, these days. If he doesn't, he's a moron. Why would you get him? Just pick up a Laz cannon on your way out, Damas. Lehman Russ on the way for Stanley Love. The Lord Commissar trying to cap putting the stubbornness back on to get some heals. Wire banners, rockets, terminators. It's all kicking off on the east side. There's this. Tyranids have found some power to bash. Carlin has been holding this VP but hasn't moved for a while. Scared to. Not a lot of VPs on a blue team. Lehman Russ getting too close to many, many rockets. Hell Fury Strike goes in but down goes the Lehman Russ so quick. Needed to keep it way, way back there for long range fire support. Two to one for red though. I think blue team can get this back, you know. Look, there's not a lot of stuff here. And they haven't got onto the natural. You need to be pushing the natural here, your friendly neighbor. I mean, I know it's not easy, but you need to get a decap or something. Hitting the power, not doing a huge amount at this stage. I mean, it's it's always useful to hit power. Yeah, he's got a uh, side cannon. Well done. Which one is he then? How do you tell him apart? Does he have a different helmet? Nope. I don't think so. He's one of them. One of them's an adjusted car. Oh, does he have a different thing on his pauldron there? I don't think so. Bashing power are the tank busters and the strat squad. Level 3 and level 4 the strat squad. 2681. That is not bad. Not bad. They do get that 15% additional when they have their adjusted car alongside Nemesis Focus. A whirlwind on the eastern side. Well done from Carlin to get that up there. And they really are holding this to the last Marine. Last kind of shots on the Khan effects. That one didn't hit it though. Well, okay, level 5 still only has a Sanguine Chainsaw. 2 to 1 cap for blue. Flooding the mid now. But red team are back on the east side. Can they hold it? What is that? Is that a Basilisk Flare? No one has a Manticore, right? Yes, yeah, a Basilisk Flare. Kasukin for those two players. Whirlwind doing some work. But uh, Carlin obviously wasn't watching up here. Down goes the Whirlwind. Tarana formation now. Tank Buster Barrage. To end all Tank Buster Barrages. Bloody hell. And there's poor Kasukin and they still capped. In fact, yeah, Kasukin. They are capping. If that was on a vehicle. Would have been way more impressive, I think. 
Blue team are hitting back fast. But is it fast enough? Warboss having some fun there. Doesn't have an armor upgrade yet. And did not get knobs up. No land ra raider redeemer for Kalin. They don't have the population to get one now. But they are pushing through the blue team and the brother captain is tapping. Unending purge is up now. Still quite on that VP. There is stuff guarding this one, right? Yeah, the Bane Blade is still there. Ren and Brood being knocked all over the place. Level 4 Ravenna now has the Synapse Aura for damage. Only affects Tyranids, though. The Imperial Guard, like, struggling to hold position up here. Those tank buses just wreck their vehicles, which is a lot of their late game, as you may expect. Scouts. Can you do something? Oh, there's a Bane Blade going up east now. It's needed on the east side. I mean, I don't disagree. But look at this. Look at the rockets coming in. Level 3, level three flash kits with their SNAS guns. Cormagon's just sent here to harass, I think. Going to get suppressed and shot up. There might be enough of a, of a distraction for the Stormtroopers to... Nope. Not going to try and decap. Picking off on the eastern side. 28 to 51 was that. Let's see what they can do against this Bane Blade. Lord Commissar trying to cap there. We've got some Grey Knight Terminators, I think that is. An orbital as well. From literally. Or maybe Carlin. Rocket Run. The third one I've seen. But Blue Team are going to get back onto the VP. It was 151, not 51. On the VP. 28148 now. Here's those Grey Knight Terminators with the Halberds. See what these interceptors can do. Is it a good idea moving in here? I don't think it's a good idea. You have the VP, just back off. And try to stabilize. And these guys just use their teleport. That is really risky against. Oh, the Inquisitor's down. Maybe they know the Inquisitor's down. There's the Holocaust on those Kasukin. Bane Blade. Can you get a model? Surely you can. I'm amazed the Terminator did not drop a model there. Blue team have the 2 to 1. They have not tried to go through the mid though. They should send these scouts or something through the mid. I mean, what are the scouts going to do here really? Nothing for them to repair. The Dreadnought has gone down, by the way. I didn't actually see it fall. I'm not sure where. They've moved up a little bit in the mid, but they need to go through. They need to go through. Uh oh. Slugger's getting too close to all of the guns. And they went down. Warboss almost level 6. Still doesn't have an armor piece. Purgation for Carlin. Predator tank for. Sorry, Purgation for literally. Predator tank for Carlin. Here we go. Strike squad onto the VP. They should have done this a couple of minutes ago, I think, but they're doing it. They are doing it. Red team are getting the eastern side back, though. There's none shall fall. These guys can't die while it's active and is reviving the Inquisitor. She's level 8. Need that guy back. Level 10, Lord Commissar. Terminator is trying to get away. Didn't drop a model? Nope. Did not drop a model. One to one cap. Gonna be a two to one, I think. Yep, Strat Squad, get it. There is dead paladin still. These guys just acting as harassment to keep things away from the VP for a while. Don't know how long you can stay here, fellas, eating grenades and plasma guns. Did a good job, held it up as long as they could, and I don't think they're going to drop a model here. Maybe? Plasma gun shots might do it. Nope, they got away. Well done, fellas. 2-1 to one cap now. Are blue team going to go back east, or are they going to try and try and support this little push here. Mine's being dropped by Stanley Love. Where is the Bane Blade? Oh, it's still up there. Is that a repair bunker? I don't think it is. 
Hang on. I don't think it is upgraded. Pushing through the mid of the blue team. The zone throat getting shots. We now have a neuro throat coming back up. Predator tank might need some repairs. Look at this apothecary getting stuck in late game. Level 6. All he needs is a sanguine chainsword. Maybe get a decal, but I don't think he's going to get one. So a lot of stuff here. Grenades, and that was a cataclysm shot from the Neurothrope as well. Flash gets very low on health. Might want to run away for this 2 to 1 cap for the red team, though. Blue team might run out of time here. Flash gets can't run away. This is it. The last stand of the Orcs. Alongside Auto Malleus and Space Marines, it's a one to one. Blue team are now on the contested. And they got the decap. It's a single for the blue team. They still have 85 VPs to make up though. They're getting this. Can they get a triple? Don't think they can. Yeah, they got wrecked by the Bane Blade, I imagine. Fogation are in. They've gone for the conversion beam up. Anti-vehicle weapon focuses a bit like a last cannon, but you do more damage the further away it is. And it does not... Yeah, it can be enhanced to snare targets. You have to activate an ability to snare targets, I think. There's that double. Gonna have a 2 to 1. I don't know if Red Team has enough stuff right here to retake it. They've got full rosters. Here comes a bunch of guardsmen. That's an orbital. And the Tank Buster Barrage, pretty effective. Hell Fury Strike going in there. 2 to 32. Put all the beams in the same place. I mean, it's very tempting to do so, but that's not what you should do. Fist of Rock is now none shall fall. Need to shoot down that Commissar. That's a Basilisk Flare, I think. Each Imperial Guard player is two Kastrican now. They're trying to flank, are they? Is that the Inquisitor going for the VP? I think it is. I think it is. Red team get their natural back. Yes, they do. And it's going to be it. There's a GG. Oh, Kylan got a sound bug right at the end, apparently. I don't think they actually dropped, though. And the Inquisitor was on their natural. What a close thing. Blue team put up a hell of a fight. Lauer maybe should have got some knobs up. I mean, look at their resources here. I feel like they could have got a knob squad or two. Tank busters were fun to see though. Had a level 8 Inquisitor, level 10 Lord Commissar, level 5 Revenant Alpha, level 6 Apothecary, level 9 Brother Captain did have Holy Armor of Titan at the end. And a level 7 War Boss did get his heavy armor on. Awesome stuff. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.